in exam three, I'm looking for two things, the name of the blood vessel and always indicate whether it's arteries or veins. If, if you put down the brachiocephalic, that's correct, but you didn't put down arteries or veins, I'm going to mark you off. Right? So just to note that. And then if you say superior mesenteric vein, but they really, if the answer is a renal vein, you still get it right because you put down vein. Right? All right. So, uh, by the way, for those who's got wrong, you probably see some of these again. The difference between the brachiocephalic vein and here is the vena cava, superior vena cava. So if I put a dot here, this is not <coughs> superior vena cava. Okay. So only the, to note here is that the aortic arch has three major blood vessels that comes off. The brachiocephalic in human, the left common carotid, and the left cyclavian, right? Now, the other important thing to note is you have to look at blood flow. How blood flow? Where does it come from? Right. So in that, your, your sheets of paper will have the arrow will tell you, for example, okay? So in human, you have blood that is coming up into the aortic arch and it's going to come down, okay? This is known as the descending aorta. The descending aorta then can branch out to the intercostal artery, for example. Okay? And then the descending aorta would go in from the thoracic into the abdominal. And what separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity? Diaphragm. The diaphragm. And usually continuation, the first blood vessel that is coming off of the abdominal aorta is the celiac trunk, okay? And the celiac trunks then distribute that blood to three important organs, the stomach, the liver, and the spleen, and then just continue, okay? So one major difference between humans and cats would be the, there are three blood vessels that is coming off of the aortic arch in human. In cat, we didn't dissect it, but you have to rely, there's only two, which is the left, uh, the brachiocephalic uh, and the left cyclavian artery. What happens to the right, uh, sorry, the right common carotid and the left common carotid? In the cats, it comes off of the brachiocephalic, right? So, what I'm saying is that it's easier if you would dissect a cat and you can see that in the cat, here. Here's the brachiocephalic, the right cyclavian, and this will give rise to the right common carotid and the left common carotid, okay? In the human, this will go all the way down to here, right? And the carotid then will distribute the blood into the external carotid and the internal carotid. The external carotid give rise to a set of blood vessels that often finds on the surface, while the internal carotid will go and feed the brain. Uh, it's joined, it's, it will join with the uh, vertebral artery to give rise to the circle of Willis. But you can say the common carotid artery, if you will, right to the internal carotid. Let's go, I think we just say the brain. That's all you need to know. The external, however, carotid. And this is all. Give rise to the suprathyroid uh, artery. All of them are to the lingual artery, the facial artery, the occipital. Where is the occipital? Occipital. Where is the occipital artery run? On the back of the head. The back. The posterior. Ultraco, and what is posterior ultraco refers to? The heart? No, it's the ear in the back. 
The maxillary artery and the superficial temple, and which is up here. So I expect you to know these blood vessels come off of the external carotid. Since it's written on the board, you expect it to know it. And the way that you remember it, J is some. Lady, figure out PMS. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that. Uh, all right. So what I'd like you to do is to spend like half an hour or so studying the arterial system first. So remember, arterial system is the network that's going to carry blood away okay, from the heart. And it's usually, it is red. Okay, so continuing on here, this will be your... Uh, descending thoracic aorta, and if I put it here, red, this is considered as intercostal artery, right? Between, not intra again. Some of you don't know the difference between inter and intra. Inter is between, whereas intra is inside. Okay, so this would be considered as inter, not interventricular artery, not intra. Okay, so from this, see this right here? This first one here is the celiac trunk. Okay. That's the celiac trunk. And the second one here is known as the superior mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric artery will feed what organ? So young? Superior mesenteric artery. Like this one. Small intestine. Very good. Okay. Now it comes down. Continue, continue. In, in the, right here, these are, it goes into your, your kidneys, or this is your renal artery, okay, the left and right renal artery. Uh, there is, there's this one above. In cats, they sit here, but in human, it probably sit right here. What gland is that? The adrenal gland, okay, so they're also adrenal artery, adrenal vein. This one right here, since this cat, we don't know, I would say that you would say that this is uh, gonadal artery, gonadal, or genital artery. If this has this been a female, it would be considered as ovarian. If this has been a male, we consider that it's testicular. But for this cat, I'd like you to know the correct answer is gonadal or genital. And then if you go continue on, this one is in the regions of iliolumbar, lumbar, which is, you only see in the cat, you don't see it in the human. And then it continues, so this is your abdominal aorta, within its branch, okay? This is considered as the external iliac, external iliac, continue on as the femoral artery. Nope, in the cat, this is the external iliac. There's a point that comes down, and then you have your internal iliac. In human, if you look this, human, the external, external and internal come off the same point. We call it the common ilia. Right. So when I put you something like here, you have to put, that's your external ilia artery. Right. So that's, and here's a femoral. Up here, I think you can study this. I would say that this would be your subclavian artery. And over here, you don't see the, um, the uh, axillary and the brachial. Uh, these are the, your carotid. That's all we need to know. That's your left subclavian artery. Continue on to that. Okay. So why don't you take 15 minutes, study the arterial system in a cat, and compare it with human.